You are a child. child Why you marry me then? Child. Riddle me that. I thought you would grow up. I got a little lip. We're shooting. Hi Saints. What up? What up with y'all? We um we had a baby. We straight did. We well got... technically I had the baby and you No, we both had the baby. You produced the baby. You did not deliver the baby. No, we both had the baby. We one flesh. I mean if No, okay. just, just just stop the conversation now. We both had the baby. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted I to... felt all that pain. Did you? Not all the pain. That's I not felt true. I felt it in my in my soul. Felt what? I was hurting with you. Anytime you hurt, I hurt. But you weren't hurting like me. That's the difference. Whatever so does. we wanted to talk to uh, tell y'all the our birth story, or the that's what the YouTube vloggers be calling it, uh, where they dialogue about what happened. I don't know why y'all be interested in these kinds of things, but here we are producing it. For it you. was kind of interesting though. It was. So how did it go? You gotta start. <laughs> you gotta start the date like all day. So this is what happened. So oh, the, I don't remember the whole day. My due date was when was my due date? October tenth. Yes. Due date comes. Baby's not here as expected. Babies come whenever they want to come. Um, I think a couple days later, about that all week, I have been begging and pleading, and just 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 praying, asking for prayer, intercessory prayer. Talk to the spirit, <laughs> the father, and the son. She straight was begging God to release me uh, as the bearer uh, or the carrier of this child. I just wanted her to come whenever and however. It, it didn't matter if she came out my foot. Just just come. <laughs> what? Um, but uh, my main thing was I didn't want to be induced because you know, in induction you get pitocin, which increases your uh, contractions it can make the labor process much longer than usual i didn't really want to go through that and so i asked god i said god even if the baby doesn't come on time or she doesn't come as earlier as or as early as i would prefer at least could you in your providence and merciful hand allow me you said all that in prayer no in your providence <laughs> <laughs> allow me to give birth at least before having to be induced and so the day uh i think it was october 14th i was scheduled to be induced and then i went into labor october 13th so yep. the day before the induction um but all night i was contracting is that how you say it contracting no. contracting you said contracting <laughs> you fit him you fit him buy some property i'm sleepy <laughs> i was contracting and it was intense they hurt if you ever had contractions it feels like you know when you ever had like a real Bad, Bad boo-boo, boo-boo yeah, that's what where it's took. like it's all in your stomach. Like the first time we went to Nigeria and we ate that food. No shade to Nigeria because we ate some other food in Nigeria. It was good. But we went to this one restaurant. We ate this food. And it felt, like, it felt like a demon was in my guts trying to claw its way out the whole time. Yes. So That's what it felt like? Contractions feel like a just just the worst boo-boo <laughs> you've ever had in your life. It starts in your back, shows up in your stomach. Um, but when I say worse boo boo, I mean like times twenty. I don't. I don't think there's any pain I can compare contractions or labor with to really give you. And a see, sense of here's the thing. This is one of the reasons why I have so much anxiety because still one. Yeah, not now. But when you when, when you get later in in the months, because one, I don't like to see you in pain ever. Aww. Whatever. I don't like to see you in pain, and so. When you have the contractions, I don't, I don't be knowing what to do. Will you just be in the refrigerator and you be? <clears throat> <laughs> and it is back to normal. I'm like Jesus. What should I pray? Should I? What happened? And I that just is be how it is. And then you be on the couch. That's funny. <clears throat> Like what's happening? Is, that, is, is the it, baby coming no, now? Should it, I get a sheet? No, it comes up on you like a like it's like a it starts real small and then it just increases in intensity for about thirty seconds and then it goes away. Yeah, and so I just you just got the be, nine month. The, you just got a whole. You just got a the nine month period. I just be I just be so anxious, man. And so I was praying too, like Lord, please just let the baby come, not on our couch. 
So, anywho, uh, I was contracting all night, but the contractions, they were intense, but they weren't um, close in frequency. And that's always a big thing is that, you know, you don't want to go into the hospital when your contractions are 10, 15, 20 minutes apart. Because it means that, one, the baby is not coming soon. Right. Um, and so, they'll typically send you home. And I didn't want to go home. I don't like wasting my time. And so, I didn't want to go up there and say, hey, I'm in pain. And they're like, oh, I feel you. you going to have to go home, though. That just would have bothered me. And so, I contracted probably from 4 4 a.m to around 9 p.m <laughs> all day basically all day so she was in labor i was just thugging it out it. i really didn't know i just i just thought you know I'm, I'm getting older this is my third child your body just start doing weird stuff maybe i just have real rough contractions but this baby ain't coming on time so yeah. no, you kept saying you kept saying you think they um uh, tony braxton hicks wow which is what it braxton is? hicks braxton hicks yes uh, so I went to uh, the bathroom. That's right, TMI. And something happened. But you was at Popeyes, and so the whole situation. This is what happened. I so, just had a real big taste for like the sandwich, the Popeyes sandwich. I was just it was just calling me all night. Was it? Yeah, it was calling. Me. Got it. So I had lost my mucus plug. Uh, if you know anything about having babies, this is educational for some of y'all. Uh, when you lose your <laughs> mucus plugs, it means that your cervix is opening up, making room for the baby. And so I didn't know what I thought that's my, what it might be. So I was like, let me just call this doctor, you know, just in case. Because I don't want to be sitting here being like Tiana Taylor having a baby in the tub. And so I called and I was like, hey, maybe you should come in just in case. We'll just do a labor check. If you are in labor, we'll, you know, admit you. If not, you'll go home. And so then she called me. She called me and she said, uh, where you at? I said, I'm in Popeye's line. She said, hurry up and get your food. I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. I didn't say hurry up and get your food. You said, well, hurry I up. Said, you, you said hurry up. What did you say? No, because I, I didn't think it was an emergency. And so I was like, okay, I just want to go to the doctor to do a labor check. Because initially, I was going to let you get your food. You said something along the lines like, please be fast or whatever because I want to go to the doctor. Sure. Maybe. Yeah, something something around. Yeah. And then, so then I, I, I don't know if I called you back or you called me back. No, I called you back because I let you, I said I was going to let you get your little sandwich or whatnot. And then I was like, huh, this actually might be more of an emergency than I think. I think that was a lower prompt than me, honestly, because I was so lackadaisical about it uh, that I would have just let them have the sandwich with this little sweet heat. And so all I know is that I was, uh, I was in line and I was like, do you want me to get out of line? Because I'm next. And she was just like, yeah. And I was like, you sure? Because... I'm next. This Popeye's sandwich been <laughs> calling my name the whole time. And, you know, it didn't seem like you was in labor labor. You know what I'm saying? Correct. you was just straight watching TV and the Food Network all night. And so, like, okay. So, I got in line. Come home. We go to the hospital. And, like, she's, like, legit in labor. And I was so shocked. I was like, man, I did not need that Popeye sandwich. So, we get to the hospital. They do. They check my cervix. And, you know, I'm thinking I'm probably two centimeters maybe because a week before i was zero centimeters to the point i couldn't get a membrane sweep if you know anything about having babies early you want to get a membrane sweep but anyway uh i couldn't get it and so she was like oh yeah you eight centimeters i said wait eight centimeters she said yeah this baby's gonna come now i said hold up i said i'm not <laughs> I'm not contracting like consistently though. And so what was happening was I had a lot of in I was about to say embalming fluid. Uh what's what? the thing called? You are not I'm dead. so sl- tired. Are, what's the thing? You what's are yet alive. In, what's the stuff in uh women's stomach? Amniotic. I had a lot of amniotic fluid. So the baby's head is floating above my cervix and my pelvis, therefore not putting pressure on it to initiate a more painful and quicker labor, which is very interesting. And so they put me in a little thing, um, in a little room or whatever, and broke my water. And I think an hour later, I knew that the baby was coming because you know that the baby is coming when you feel like you got a boo boo real bad. I was like, yeah, I feel like I feel the little, you know, rectal pressure or whatever. And then the doctor what? said, "That's what it feels like. It feels it feels like this urge to because the baby's coming down and coming against your rectum, and so that's why it feels the same as if you had to do a number two, and that's how you know that the baby is on the way. And I did one good push, and the baby came literally out. one good push, and she was there. Yeah, like. Yeah, at three thirty four. How did how did how was that experience? This is your third time seeing uh, a baby come out of um, me. I all I know is that she came out like she was diving sideways. She was like, 
I promise. She was just like this. She was like, I'm here. I secretly was waiting for them to surprise me and say that it uh, that she had a penis. Yeah, but... I was looking. I was looking for the for the penis. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Because <laughs> because I was, was looking. I, I I have. You know what I mean. No. You was looking for the baby's penis. We yes. Don't sound good either. That's still something else. You know what I'm saying? We we both thought it was gonna be a boy. Well, we no. both we both we both hoped, hoped that it was gonna be a boy. And so I was like, ah, it's another girl. Yeah. And so edit that out. Kim. You okay? Babe, put that phone down. <laughs> so yeah, when we brought Sage home, um, I was very intrigued to to see how the girls would respond to Sage, and I knew Eden would just act like she's uh, her new toy mm -hmm. like you know oh she's so cute and yeah. she was just in love but the two-year-old autumn she autumn was just looked looking back like autumn looked at her like she was a specimen who are you <laughs> what is this like literally she sat next to her like 10 minutes and was like but it wasn't even like a judgmental <laughs> kind of like self-righteous she was like intrigued yeah she just i don't i don't think she's ever seen a baby especially a baby that we have in our arms yeah you know? she's like why is my mama holding this child and her feet smaller than mine yeah like she was just looking at her feet like and so but now autumn was low-key getting jealous a little bit yeah and so like when i pick up sage and she put down baby now <laughs> <laughs> she just put does, down sage put down sage yeah. and so she does not like it uh but eden is still in love and um, yeah. Has it been a difficult transition for you? I straight the, got the, three kids. The two to three? I straight got three kids. I, like yesterday when they were all sitting, well, Eden was sitting on the couch, Autumn was sitting on the couch, and mm -hmm. you had Sage. And I was over there by the island, and I looked on the couch, and I said, I straight have kids. Plural. Like, with the S. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm a father, father, father. Yes. You know what you I'm saying? And I, I was of like, girls. All of, three. Yeah. And it's just... They're all beautiful, but it's still it's still shocking to me. Yeah, it feels. I, I don't know. The transition has been. I, I don't think it's been difficult in the sense of uh, hard to bear or you know impossible. I do think it's been difficult in like uh, mildly overwhelming. You know, because it just it feels like my brain is in so many directions when it comes to who needs care at a mm -hmm. certain point in time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if, if Eden definitely. needs this, does Autumn need this? Sage always needs something. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like my my brain is like super divided. Yeah, that's definitely the balance. I the, I put the the girls to bed every night and I say prayers for Eden and Autumn and sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and all that. And a lot of times they fight for you my. You need to start singing for him. <laughs> whatever um uh, i can't sing fred i'm not gonna do uh that man songs and justice but uh <laughs> yeah I, they they fight for my attention and i, I was thinking one, one day like one day sage one day sage is gonna grow up Jesus, and i'm having a third Jesus. girl fighting for my attention that's what we call you i'm just gonna use her as a backdrop because she's being real Save real right now and three girls is gonna be fighting for my attention with the wife they get an attitude randomly. You are like I'm like, babe, we was just talking about Jesus, Jesus. what we gonna go on vacation next year. Now you got an attitude. Like what happened? Do you want somebody to be getting ice cream? Like what's you know what I'm saying? And so now I said in the other video, just pray for me. Just pray for me. You see what I'm saying? I got a wife who's very rude. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And I got three little girls that's going to be fighting for my attention. So I don't really know what kind of personality Sage is going to have. But all I know. I am very intrigued. I am. Yeah. Because right now, if she, if she cries, if she talks nearly as much as she cries, yeah. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> that don't make no sense, do it? I don't even see no tears coming out. What's a price tag? You see a price tag? <laughs> Oh, sleep. Uh, we don't sleep no more. You know what, though? Like, we didn't... Uh, that's a thing. Like, infants no, are, are not it was It's different with sleep. age. Th but that's what I was going to say. I don't remember sleep be uh, being this elusive um, with the other sleep two. Sleep has been running away from us But you know night. what it is, like, nope, though? No, no, no. Like, every time, we, every time she, she calms down, mm -hmm. we go to sleep for 20 minutes, and she wakes up. Herself. Oh, yeah. Ah! Yeah. Ah! 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 
Yeah. And then you pick her up and she go, hmm. It's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, God this is, is the really thing. stretching us. They, they tell you sleep while they sleep. That's, that's like well, the, we can't. the motto. Which worked with Eden because she was first. I could sleep when she slept. But it was when I had Autumn that I realized, oh, that actually only works when you have one kid. You can't sleep while they sleep if you have other kids that are woke. And so now that we have two, it's just like, yeah, ain't no, ain't no none of that. But God is, is faithful um, because I think Preston has given me permission. And, and not permission as if he's Lord, but I can do too much. And so he'll say go take a nap like it's it's fine to go but sleep mul oh. multiple times though so jackie has this thing where she wants to just be there for the kids 24 hours a day yeah i'm telling all your business and so like literally i have to tell her babe i can handle this it's not like you're going to florida you're just going upstairs and so if something happens i could just wake you up go take a nap it's not that i'm worried i don't have anxiety I, I, it's, it's just it feels like why take a nap like why go to sleep just just do what you got to do and no you, you need to take a nap you're a human being you need rest i understand and so she just That's be in like the Bible. <laughs> You think I'm a cokehead? <laughs> <laughs> you make me look like a straight. This up. the this the bottle. I come in the house. This the bottle in her. I came in the house from the gun range. She was <laughs> <laughs> like, why you making me look like a straight up fiend? <laughs> Whatever. Why is one eye open? She just just anyway, take a nap, Jack. <laughs> anywho, please go take a nap. So we are happy that uh, Sage is here. I am so 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 thankful to not be pregnant when i say i thank god when i do anything that i could not do like sit down and get up <laughs> he um, rains <laughs> roll over in the bed without pain squat you know i can drink water and i have to pee immediately it's 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 the little things you know like I, i'm not addicted to like acetone smells anymore gasoline i don't even care yeah she was painting Markers. our whole house like why are you painting the knobs just oh, to smell it oh god is such a faithful Goodness god gracious. he's a deliverer and i i feel like i'm i'm gonna get real deep remember i told you i was like i feel like having a baby is the same experience that it might be of having a glorified body let me explain because <laughs> No, seriously, I think there's a spiritual connection. Hear her. There. There's a spiritual connection because Pray. you you go ten months, right you go ten months, forty weeks with this baby. Your body is doing things that it has never done before. It does not do usually. You're in pain. You're exhausted. You're frustrated. You're irritated. Like your body is just weak, right? And then you have this baby, and automatically you have this new experience of your body again that makes you forget the 10 months of pain that you've been in. And I think, oh my goodness, that's a word. I think that that's what heaven is going to be like. It's like, yeah, I might, to heaven. Through, Ooh, I, that I might have went through. I might have went through all these trials and tribulations for, for, you know, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, however many years, but you get to glory and it seemed like all of that stuff went quick, which I think is a part of the reason Paul might be saying that like, you know. Come on. What's that when he said something Teach like us. the surpassing? Come on, remember. This is the, 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 this stuff won't the uh, weight of glory. Uh, you talking about the I, I reckon that the suffer, suffering times with this yes. present time are not worthy to be compared he, to the glory that shall be revealed in us through Christ Jesus. I think it's the same thing. So there's that. But if you don't get the connection, it's okay. Right. That's just so, me being deep. Yeah. That was real deep. All right. All right. Hi y'all. Peace. Kim <laughs> starts shaking her head at me. <laughs>